Hey there everyone and welcome to my channel and thanks for clicking on this particular video. And in case you didn't know, we are currently busy with a series of videos. This is part three of a four part series where I challenged myself to create my own Pixar style animation short movie within 400 hours or less than 17 days. Mm -hmm. And what we've been doing is we've been using this particular 12 step process to make the movie. And at this point, we have already covered steps one through to steps nine. And today, we're going to look at what's probably the most important step in this particular process, which is step 10, which is the actual animation process. But before we get into that, let's just have a quick look at how I'm doing in terms of my running time to see whether I can, in fact, finish this particular short movie within 400 hours. So as we've discovered, the concept took us about 15 minutes to put together our story and our script also took us 15 minutes. It took us 45 minutes to put together our concept art, thanks to Mer Journey. And then we did our storyboarding, which took me four hours. And then the voice acting took me three hours, which leads us up to the st steps we just finished now, which is step seven, eight, and nine, which is basically our characters and our props that we just put together. That took me a whopping 16 hours. So at this stage, if I add all of that up, we have spent about 25 hours on this particular animation, which is just over a day. Now at this stage, I also want to point out to you guys that I'm not working day and night and day and night doing this. I have got a wonderful family I spend time with. I've also got a full-time job. So whenever I get a spare minute or a spare couple of hours, I sit and I animate it. And all I do is I'm basically recording the time I'm taking to put together this particular animation. So that leads us to the next step, which is step 10, which is where the real work begins. And that's animating. So this is the most important and the most time-consuming part of the entire process. The software you choose here will eventually determine how long the process is going to take. Now, if you want to animate for free, then Blender is the way to go. Blender is a good, robust animation software that has grown in popularity over the years. Uh, there is, however, a very steep learning curve. I have been sort of dabbling with Blender and I still haven't got the hang of it yet, but that's a good place to start. But if you want to throw some money at your animation problems, you are welcome to go for the more expensive industry standard like Maya or maybe 3DX Max. But both of these come with exorbitant monthly or annual subscriptions and a very high learning curve as well. Or if like me, you want to go the cheaper and easier route, then uh, I used iClone 8 by Reillusion. And the reason I chose this particular software uh, is because I found it very easy to use and I've also been using it for a couple of years and I also enjoy the fact that the animations can literally be dragged and dropped to your characters. So there are a number of ways to animate your characters and this will depend on whether you want to go for a more realistic style animation or for a more Pixar style animation, which is obviously what we're going for here. But here are basically five ways to animate your characters. The first one is by keyframing, and this is the longest way to animate. Uh, the bulk of Pixar's movies are done this way, where you literally put a keyframe down with a pose, you put another keyframe down with a pose, and then you put keyframes in between to sort of direct the movement of your characters. And as you can imagine, this takes a long time. Then the second option, which is a lot quicker, is to do motion capture. You can capture your body and your face with a device. And these are great for more realistic animations, but obviously these devices come at a cost as well. Then there is the more AI-driven uh, animation, which is video capture animation, where you can get your characters to follow a video and then capture their mostly body animation. But I've discovered that these are a lot less accurate. So I had the privilege of being invited by Deep Motion to beta test their latest product called Same Motion. Now, what Same Motion is, it's a tool that allows you to use AI text prompts to animate your character. And it's pretty cool, I must say. Unfortunately, it's not going to quite work for my needs. And the reason for that is because this particular tool, Same Motion, is focused more on realistic body animations and not quite the exaggerated tomb style animations that we need for our particular project. But I want to tell you, keep an eye out for this particular tool. It's Deep Motion's Same Motion. Check it out. Um, yeah, I think it's for free at the moment. Uh, but yeah, check it out. I'm sure it's going to grow and become a much better tool. And hopefully, one day, you'll be able to use it to do exaggerated tomb style animations as well. Then the fourth way of animating is to use pre-made animations. Now, there is a Adobe, it's got a website called Mixamo, which comes with hundreds of free animations, which you can literally drag and drop onto your characters. And then Reillusion's got their own um, list of animations uh, called Actacore, which is a website, and they've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of actual, actual animations. I don't think there is an animation that they don't have, and that particular list of animations are growing, and it's become my favorite in terms of animating my characters. And this, this particular way will obviously be the easiest of all the other ways. And then of course there is option 5 which is using a hybrid or combining the above that I've mentioned before. 
So animation always comes down to the same thing. It comes down to that, you know, that project management triangle, quality versus time versus cost. For me, obviously, for this exercise, there was time. So guess which of the options I'm going to go for? Drag and drop, baby. That's where we're going. So let's have a quick look at how I animated my particular characters, the principles of the scene. So this is how I animated this particular scene. So the first step was to actually bring my set into the actual animation software. And this was quite easy, actually. It was literally importing the FPX. Uh, and then, yeah, I just personalized things. So I brought them in as uh, separate parts, moved furniture around, moved paintings around and images around to suit my particular set. The next thing I did, I brought my characters in. And as I've mentioned earlier on before, they're already ready. they textured, they rigged, and they're ready for animation. I just positioned them accordingly. Then I placed my cameras um, using my concept art and my storyboard as a guide. So I knew more or less where my camera needs to be placed. Then we move on to the body animation, which is usually where most of the time is spent. But because we're going drag and drop, it was quite easy for me as well. So for this particular scene, I used uh, pre-made animations coming from this particular pack. It's called Sit and Talk Combo. And these are ready-made, hand-keyed, cartoon-style animations which suits my needs perfectly. And yes, I animated all three of my characters from this one particular pack. I had to do some keyframing to make it work with the talking, also to speed things up and slow things down where necessary. And then I also had to move the arms around to make sure that it doesn't go through the actual character or any parts of the furniture. And then of course I had to also face the head in the right direction to make the person look at the other characters as well. But these tweaks were quite easy uh, with iClone's motion editing tool. And then we moved on to the voices. Now to add voices to your characters inside iClone is actually very easy. All you gotta do is you click on your character. And then you open up what is called the AccuLips tab inside iClone. You bring in your sound clip. Make sure that the program has the lines correctly. This is the best visual we have of the suspect. It actually automatically picks up the line for you. And make sure that it's spelled correctly. And that's it. In less than a minute, you have a talking character. Let's check this one out. This is the best visual we have of the suspect. And the cool thing is these visemes can be changed or tweaked to your art content. So you're not stuck with this particular lip sync. You can actually exaggerate things. You can take away uh, visemes as well. This is the best visual we have of the suspect. Whatever suits you best. And then the sixth and final step in my animation process is the actual facial animations. Now, I would normally use my iPhone and my mocap device inside Reillusion's uh, iClone to do my facial expressions, but that works better for more realistic style characters. If you are doing more animated characters, it's probably best to go the keyframe route. So what I've done over the last two years is I've actually created my own product called the Ultimate Expressions Bundle. What I've done is I've put 70 facial expressions into this particular bundle, and these expressions include positive expressions, and some negative emotions as well. And then I've put an additional 70 sliders in here so you can actually use expressions when the character's talking, as well as sliders to control the eyebrows, the eyelashes, the mouth, and some of the other facial features. This particular pack is for sale on the Reillusion Marketplace, and in fact, it's on special at the moment. So if you wanna help yourself out and support the channel, I would suggest you take a look at it. I will leave the product in the description below, and you can also check out the tutorial link, uh, which I'll also leave in the description below. And that's how I do all my facial expressions. Uh, in fact, I use the Ultimate Expressions Pack for males, as well as the newly launched Ultimate Expressions Packs for females. And then I'll use these two packs together with another two expression animation packs. And these are Cartoon Expressions Volume 1 by Andy F, which is perfect for the cartoon style facial expressions we want and need. And then as a backup, I also use Digital Soul by Reillusion. Uh, they've also got an expression pack, and these are animated. These are not pose expressions, these are animated expressions. And in fact, these animated expressions become the base for my final facial performance. And it essentially gives life to your characters. But unfortunately, these expressions are very basic, uh, which is where my ultimate expressions pack come in. So I use it in combination. Let me show you what I mean. So the first thing I do is I first do the body animation. After hours, doesn't that mean that our stranger has to have keys to access the school? And then I remove it so that I can focus solely on the face. And at this stage, I already know where my cameras are and I know where I need to be doing facial expressions and where not. So once I've done that, um, I've got just the basic visim, which looks like this. Absolutely no expressions. Okay, Kim. So where do we start? All right, now I add my base facial animation, uh, which is where those two packs come in. In this particular case for Jason, I'm going to use the uh, cartoon expressions and I'm going to go into the folder called Normal 
And since Amy is on the right of Jason, I'm going to use this one here, look down right, I took animation, and just simply double click on it and apply it. And this is what that particular face expression looks like. Yep, very scary, have very huge eyes, and yeah, kind of crazy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this, uh, basically fix my blinking of my eyes, um, and then also the head movement I feel is like uh, way too angled, so I'm going to have to fix that as well. So once fixed, this is what it looks like. Hey, wait a minute. If it's happening after hours, doesn't that mean that our stranger has to have keys to access the school? And as you can see, it's very bland. There's no expressions on the character's face other than the eye movements. Again, it, it gives the character life, but this is where the ultimate expressions pack comes in, which I feel is a secret ingredient. Cool, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna find the appropriate expressions out of all of the expressions that I have in this pack. Uh, obviously, I'm busy working with Jason now, so I'm going to use the male pack for him. Uh, and I'm gonna just apply some of those facial expressions and exaggerate his face a bit, obviously making sure that it actually ties in with what he's busy saying. And I'll do that for the entire uh, animation in this particular sequence. All right, let's have a look at one of the snips, uh, snippets rather from this particular um, animation or facial animation. Let's have a look and see what's done. This is after adding the ultimate expressions onto my base uh, animation. Hey, wait a minute. If it's happening after hours, doesn't that mean that our stranger has to have keys to access the school? That's true. Great deduction, Jason. Yeah, so as you can see, the ultimate expressions actually takes it to a whole new level. Um, and yeah, just to give you guys some form of hint of the final quality of my animations, and also to show off this particular expression, let's have a look at that same clip, but this time uh, in the final render as was done in Unreal Engine. Well. Hey, wait a minute. If it's happening after hours, doesn't that mean that our stranger has to have keys to access the school? That's true. Great deduction, Jason. Yep, so I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. So again, to the combination of the Cartoon Expressions Basic 50 together with the Ultimate Expressions, I think that makes the perfect combination for any facial animation. So do check it out. So now I've got my work cut out for me to do all the other scenes and I'll catch you guys on the other side. Okay, so the animation process is complete and it took me 222 hours to animate all seven of my scenes, which is a long time. It equates to just under 10 days if I was doing it uh, without any stopping. So yeah, so if I add that 222 hours onto our already spent 25 hours, which we spent on the first nine steps, we come to 247 hours and if you do the maths with that, you're looking at about 10 and a half days uh, that was spent thus far. So of the 400 hours, I've spent 247 hours on the first for, for 10 steps of the 12 steps. Now, again, I am excited. I think it's possible and I do think I'll be able to finish it. But I also know that rendering takes a very long time, especially if you're going to do some path trace rendering, which is what I'm going to be doing. And then, of course, compositing this whole thing together, basically editing it in my editing software also takes quite a lot of time. So I'm not counting my chickens, but at this stage, it looks like it's very possible for me to finish this within 400 hours. But anyway, that's where we're going to end this particular video. And thanks again for those of you who have stuck it out throughout this entire video. And in fact, throughout the, four, the last three parts of this particular video series. And a big thanks to everybody who subscribed to this channel. I really appreciate that. And that's definitely motivated me to continue making videos like that. So I thank you for the subscription. Don't forget to ring the notification bell if you're keen to see the final short movie, which I'm going to be releasing with my next video. Um, and then, yeah, don't forget to also check out my tool that I spoke about earlier on, my animation or facial animation tool. Uh, in fact, I've also released a second part to this tool, which is geared specifically for female facial animations. Click on the link below, 
You'll discover all the details. It'll take you through to Reillusions Marketplace where you'll be able to check out some videos on what this particular tool is and how it can help you. Thanks so much, guys. Until I see you guys next week for the fourth and final part of this particular series, keep well and see you then. Thanks so much. Cheers, eh? Bye-bye. Thank you.